So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A lot of people say, of course, and a lot of people feel, I don't feel like praying. So, I want to help. There are a lot of people who say, I don't feel like praying, but I want to pray. A part of me knows I want to pray, but I don't feel like praying. So, what do I do? How can I pray when I don't feel like praying, but I know I have to pray? So, what to do in such a situation? So, I'm going to offer a few things uh, for you to do and inshallah 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 that will help you pray for those people who really feel strongly i should pray but i just can't for whatever reason one of the best things you can do is that you can imagine yourself and this you can do on anything that you're supposed to do and you don't feel like doing okay I'll give you first a non-salah example, okay? For example, if you look behind me, you see my uh, desk, right? has all those books, you know, that um, uh, I've been told that I need to clean up, right? So all I have to do is, you don't have to close your eyes or anything like that, but I'm just saying it for the sake of giving the instructions. You close your eyes and imagine how good you will feel if that just is so clean, Okay. How good will you feel looking at that desk with no books there, no clutter there, everything is cleaned up? Research shows that that idea of looking at the result, the after effect of something is so powerful that it, it really does motivate people to get up and clean that desk, for example. In the same way, and I'll tell you why this works, inshallah. I'll tell you why this works, and then I'll give you some other techniques. In the same way, if you feel like praying, but just can't, like part of you saying pray, the other part saying don't pray, but the don't pray part is stronger than the parts that saying to pray, you do the exact same thing. You sit down, you imagine yourself, how good I feel after I pray. This for the people that regularly pray, but they just can't do maybe all five prayers or sometimes they just fall short. So just imagine yourself how good you feel when you finish praying. That feeling of a like a responsibility or a burden has been completed. Right? You're not looking at, you're looking at the end result and how it makes you feel. Like I was looking at this desk and saying, how good would I feel if I just cleaned that desk? Okay, the other thing you can do is you can think about, just imagine in your mind the opposite of that. And that is that even if you don't pray, even if you don't pray, but you imagine, I got up, I did wudu, and you tell yourself it was, usually people tell me wudu is the hard part for them. So you imagine yourself doing wudu, and you're telling yourself, see, do you remember how good you feel doing wudu? And then you imagine yourself walking to the place you pray, and you're going to pray, and you say your takbir al-tahrima, and then I do my prayers quickly, or slowly, or fast, or however you usually pray, and then I say my salams, and I do my dua, and you just walk yourself through that, and you can add on to that, how good now I feel at this point, that I've prayed. Okay, so that's the second technique that you can use to help you pray. Okay, the third one is something that I'll be doing a separate video on, but I'm going to give you the gist of it. And that is the Prophet ﷺ didn't change people's habits one by one by one. That would have taken forever. But you get into the mode of changing habits at the same time. So you don't choose one thing. You choose like six to ten things you want to change about yourself. And you don't have to be perfect in all of them every single day. But when you give yourself, you bundle things you want to, like for example, I'll work out every day. I'm going to pray five times a day today. I'm going to read at least, a, you know, 20 pages of Quran every day. I'm going to, like, you give yourself 10 tasks to do, six to 10 tasks. Okay. This is all research-based, by the way. What I'm saying is completely research-based. 
Okay, and then one day I'm going to do the videos showing you the, the research and where it is and so on and so forth. But if you target to do six different things in which you want to change your habit, okay, then you, because you're already in the mode, right, to change your habit, so then now it becomes easier to pray. So next prayer, the next prayer for you that is coming up and you feel like praying or don't feel like praying. If you don't feel like praying, then do what I said. Just imagine yourself getting up, doing what do, and feeling good, so good, after uh, finishing the prayer. And tell me that when you sit down and think about how good you feel after you finish the prayer, A, and how much easier it is when you just go through the steps in your mind, and keep your telling yourself that, see, it's that easy. All I have to do is do this. It literally takes two minutes to do wudu. Literally takes five minutes to pray. And I feel so good after it. So when you do that, there's a reason this works. And uh, I'm not going to explain it today, inshallah. But uh, it is very, very powerful. And so I hope those of you that want to pray and just can't get yourself to that point, of praying sometimes people are tired sometimes people have other issues in their life right so you want to pray but you just can't like shaitan has has convinced you something has distracted you or convinced you something else is more valuable at that time than prayer so then the way you make the prayer valuable is by sitting down closing your eyes and imagining yourself you finish your prayer and how good you feel at that moment and if you're targeting many things that you want to change about yourself then it even becomes easier if you um there are other things that can be done but i'm not going to go into that inshallah ta'ala okay inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh